What's up? How are you guys this weekend? Frankie Eyeballs is back with Hitomi's replacement, apparently, Veggiekins, another Asian vegan girl, because Hitomi has been MIA, at least with her day of eating videos. Uh, two weeks ago, she's talking about her depression while feeling depressed. Uh, she did some recipes, but not really a day of eating. Uh, she was in London a month ago. Uh, she's more open about her, I mean, like, we saw you in the jungle with four girls that kind of look like dudes, so you don't really have to tell us about the queerness stuff. Uh, and then two months ago, she was in South Africa, so I guess <laughs> that didn't last long. <laughs> she went to South Africa, and then, like, less than a month later, she ends up in London, so go figure. But um, point is, uh, we need some day of eating, so Tommy's not our girl. That being said, this video is brought to you by Tatomi's Very Vegan Cookies, which are available on frankiestrangefoods.com. Uh, just scroll down to the nutrition bar section, and we have restocked Tatomi's Organic Chocolate Chip Cookie Bars in dark chocolate and white chocolate chip. These are vegan. Might be the only vegan product I actually sell, but we do have one. We do have one. I'm not sure if Tatomi knows about uh, her unwarranted sponsorship yet, even though we've been selling these for a few years, but... Go figure. So we have what I eat in a day as a vegan, making changes plus new snack obsessions. Hey, she, she looks pretty healthy for a vegan, right? Is this her first week on the diet? Today we're gonna be doing a what I eat in a day video because it's been a really long time since I've done one of these. And since my last what I eat in a day video, I feel like I've definitely made some diet changes. Still all vegan. But as you know, there are a million different ways to eat a vegan diet because it's a lifestyle, not necessarily a prescriptive diet. Like yeah, because the diet doesn't work and people spend like three years trying to figure it out until they give up. Like Whole30 or paleo or anything like that. You can even be Whole30 or paleo while being vegan. I mean, there. <laughs> you can be... You can be paleo while being vegan. Pretty sure that's a direct lie. There are just so many different ways to eat a vegan diet. So today I'm gonna to show you a little bit of what food has been looking like for me lately. And as always, you guys know what I'm gonna say. What I eat in a day videos across the board should never be taken. Honestly, vegans really need to be more open-minded, you know? Like, what about the lobsters that accidentally die in the grocery store tank, you know? What about the, the deer that get hit on the side of the roads? You know, there's objectively vegan sources of, of nutrition that aren't being utilized. The dumpster in the back of the local Walmart or Walgreens or supermarket, whatever, you know? I'm sure there's plenty of steak and salmon in there. You, you guys think that's ever happened? Like a vegan who was so deprived of nutrition had a whiff of some fishiness and, and like their inner senses and craving for meat took them to the dumpster where they just started eating raw sashimi right out of the dumpster. I I mean, with how many people are on this planet, it had to happen at least once, right? Taken as a meal plan or prescriptive. Some homeless hippie, I guarantee you, some homeless hippie vegan chick has eaten sushi out of a dumpster before. I guarantee it's, it's I, it has, it had to have happened. If anything, just take away from it recipe inspiration and ideas for vegan meals. Let's get right into it and make some matcha so that I can talk to you guys while I do that. I'm hoping you guys can hear me okay because whenever I'm in the kitchen, the sound, thanks to the fridge, is not great when I'm not using a mic. I'm making a matcha latte before the gym. I'm using Rocky's matcha today. Just want to. I must say, it's very Pinterest, you know? She's got the cute outfit, the crop top, the apartment with the right style. Everything's like... And when I say like Pinterest, it's like these girls that create this idea of what their life should be based on other people. And like even like little things like this tea kettle here and stuff, whatever that is, like the bowl that she puts in the matcha, like everything's like Pinterest. It's about appearance and how it's portrayed to other people. Many that I have open right now, I'll show you guys my matcha collection. If you haven't already seen it on my Instagram. So I've been drinking Calafia milk for a really long time, but I really like these new ones because these are made with just three ingredients. So this one, the almond milk, is literally just almonds, water, and salt. And then the oat milk, oats, salt, and water. Yeah, I think that's a relatively new company. I'm not 100% sure. But regardless of the quality of the ingredients, like organic and being minimal, the type of water they use is probably not, you know, well water or, or spring water or mineral water. It's most likely a, a tap water. 
that has negative things in it. So that, that's, that's the main reason you want to make a lot of these things yourself. So for anyone out there who's like, plant-based milks are so unhealthy and they have all these like seed oils and gums, these are amazing. There's just something about certain homemade almond milks that taste like you're just eating raw almonds. And I don't like it, like not in a good way. Anyway, I've been liking like a mix of the two, which I feel like is a little high maintenance, but I don't know. This is what I've been into lately. Yeah, I, I like to see someone test, you know, the fluoride and chemical content of some of these products, even good ones like that. I know it's not a lot, but I like to have something in me before the gym. Yeah, I mean, like an almond milk with minimal ingredients is, is not that horrendous for you. You know, since there's no additives, there's no synthetic vitamins, those are the main negative things I add to those. But the matcha, the flavonoids, the anti-nutrients, it's, it's not good for you. And I feel like this does the trick because... We've got some almond and oat milk. Mm. I think the things that have changed- You know, the caloric density is really low. You're not getting any nutrition, really. The most for me are gluten, protein, and just more balance. The thing about being gluten-free and vegan for me is that I eat vegan by choice, but gluten-free is not something I do by choice. And when the option is worth it, in my opinion, I'll just eat the gluten and have some digestive enzymes in addition. But for the most part, with fermented gluten, like sourdough and things like that, I don't really have so much of an issue. Barley is okay with me. Um, I have never gone like super overboard in a day, but primarily this applies to when I'm eating out. But I just feel like with fun vegan products that come out, oftentimes they're vegan and not gluten-free. And part of the job is to try out new vegan things and share. Yeah, I mean, a lot of these people that go vegan, their gut issues happen from the nutritional deficiencies on the vegan diet. Like they were perfectly fine before the vegan diet, then they start it and then they have all these health issues. With you guys, so I end up eating gluten here and there. It, look, it's as simple as the body doesn't have enough bioavailable protein to even repair the gut lining. And I'm just not super strict about it anymore. But that being said, all the recipes that I share on the blog are still vegan and gluten free. So not much has really changed. It's more of like a personal thing and what I'm eating in real life. The second change is protein. A little more conscious of incorporating some kind of protein at each meal if I can, just because I can actually truly get away with just eating whatever. Like macros don't impact my body too, too much. I've noticed because I think I am a little bit more naturally lean. It's a blessing and a curse because I can eat kind of whatever and not notice too many body changes. It's a curse because that's a disservice to all the work that I'm doing to build muscle. And obviously I'm not really building muscle when I'm not feeding the muscle the right things. So we are in our- Yeah, when you're vegan, you can't build muscle. Protein era, but the biggest problem I'm having is- Dude, this is so Gen Z coded. I'm in my protein era. That is that is so ridiculous. <laughs> I'm in my protein era. I'm in, I'm in, well, I'm personally, I'm in my brain damage era because I'm completely over it. Lately, I feel like I'm just kind of grossed out by protein powder. I'm in this phase where I can't really stomach protein bars and protein powders as much as I used to be able to. So I'm trying to find, you mean, you mean these vegan protein concoctions that are full of chemicals and like pea extract. My favorite new brands, just so that I could like incorporate it for easy days when I'm in a rush, you know? And the last thing is balance. I really feel like for me, especially as somebody with a past history of eating disorders it's so important All right. for me to be truth comes to out eat eating foods. disorders and i think there are certain foods that i didn't even realize i was inherently avoiding or like afraid of or just never really ate much as a kid because my eating disorder started when i was seven years old so there are a lot of things that most people have eaten as a kid that i just kind of shied away from and never really ate very much it's just been very yeah it's a, a lot of times it's appearance related but it's unfortunate that you know people aren't educated enough from a nutrition perspective to know that hey if the food's high quality, you can eat whatever you want and you will look and feel healthy. I can eat all the steak, all the potatoes, all the organic ice. I can eat all the, if the food is high quality and the fatty acid profile is predominantly saturated fat, it's impossible to gain an unhealthy amount of weight random and i'm embracing it i am not one to be super afraid of like seed oils and things like that um i think everything in moderation is okay my stance on healthy food is kind of interesting because i'm definitely all for whole food plant-based diet bro we're, um, we're basically halfway into this video she's just been yapping and drinking matcha the majority of the time but i'll also eat oreos and if i go to a cafe and they have a barista style milk with a little bit of seed oil in it I'm not going to freak out. But for me, being healthy is also not being afraid of any food and being flexible enough to eat those. Bro, how can you be woke about seed oils and still be vegan? Sometimes. So that's kind of where I'm at. Let's prep a quick chia pudding for after the gym and get going. I 
I'm back from the gym. I'm actually starving. I started my day a little later than usual because... I oh, yeah, maybe because you, you only had some almond milk. I'm filming today, and oh, girl, it's hitting me. So hopefully the chia pudding is ready. This is, this is bad, bro. From a caloric density perspective, this might be the worst one we've seen so far because that the amount of calories in that almond milk matcha couldn't have been more than like 20 or 30 calories this it's basically a bowl of seeds i i don't know what type of uh yogurt or what what liquid she put in there but i think it was just more almond milk so this is probably like 50 calories this is bad i mean i mean you don't even have like the anti-nutrient thing isn't that big of a deal unless you're eating excessive amounts of certain very dark, colorful, concentrated things. Like like if you were eating kale smoothies every morning or giant spinach salads, yeah, then the anti-nutrients are concerned. What's the real concern is that you're not getting animal nutrition to counteract the, the vegetables and you're also not getting any calorically dense starches or, or higher calorie fats like coconut in the diet. This is, this is bad. We got some vanilla chia pudding, some granola, blueberries, and we are good to go. Yeah, I mean that that can't be that can't be more than like 100 calories. That's ridiculous. Garbage truck literally just got here. Kind of matching with my breakfast today. I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then get in the shower, and we'll start prepping some of the other things that we're gonna eat today. We are approaching lunchtime. We're gonna do a whole bunch of prep, and I'm actually gonna film a recipe video. So I'm gonna need to use this camera, but I'm gonna have a quick creamy as a snack while I prep curry. I mean, there's no way she has these energy levels following this diet. Like she's not showing us what she's actually eating. We're done with tofu, which is gonna be my lunch. I love the Ninja Cream machine because it makes eating protein ice cream so easy. I'm a fan of like super thick spoonable smoothie bowls and the Ninja just makes it a little easier and has these containers that you can like prep in advance in. So you don't need a creamy, but if you like ice cream texture, really, really amazing for making protein ice cream. If you like smoothies, any blender will do. We're gonna try a new protein powder that I just got in the mail. So I got all this protein sent to me today. This is from Happy Viking. This is Venus Williams brand of protein. And I don't know if the sisters are both vegan, but I know at least one of them is plant-based. And it seems like it's actually got way more than just protein. Strawberry smoothie one. I've never tried this before. Then we've got the individual packs, one of each. We've got vanilla, chocolate, another strawberry, green uh, colada. Uh. Tropical smoothie, limited edition. Iced coffee, which I'll have to give to a friend. Cookies and cream, which sounds very up my alley. And then berry parfait, which is also limited edition. Not to be boring, but I think I'm gonna try the chocolate one first because I feel like it's a good basic flavor that any brand should be able to get to taste good. For the creamy bases, it's gonna seem really random. But All right, so Happy Viking is a plant-based protein superfoods powder created by Venus Williams. Uh, kind of crazy to me, you know? These people sell millions and millions of dollars worth of crap for double the price of what I charge. Like, like comparing this to uh, like my liver detox smoothie is absolutely comical, especially when you look at the ingredient list. You know, what is that? Yellow pea and brown rice, which is basically beta carotene and arsenic. Great protein source. Uh, MCT oil is not the worst thing. Cocoa powder could be worse, but nothing's organic. And then you just have a list of what is that? You know, how many, how many? 50 plus dozens and dozens of synthetic vitamins and minerals added. You know, what What are they putting in this? This is insane. What What even makes it taste okay? All, all the extract, look, there's, and then there's like 20 different grapeseed extract, wild blueberry, raspberry prune. These are just generic conventional fruit powders. They're not even organic. So um, that, that, this is crazy to me. This is $50. Same volume of product. I think I might even have, uh, yeah, about the same volume of product as my liver detox smoothie. Yet, this is 20 bucks more, and it's not organic. It's not even organic. Based on this, I should be selling my product for like $100 a tub. It's it's absolutely disgusting. What And then, uh, kind of crazy, I don't know, must be like a hidden sponsorship, why this girl's eating this stuff. Yeah, so it's complete crap. But this is the formula that I like the best. Some kind of protein base, a little bit of jello vanilla pudding mix, which is vegan actually, surprisingly. It just helps with the texture a little bit of the creamy. And that's basically all I do. One pack of this tablespoon or two of jello pudding mix. Let's make a strawberry one too. Isn't j jello. What is it like a uh, vegan? Bro, I don't even know what's in vanilla jello. 
I was going to say, it's basically sugar and cornstarch. It's literally sugar and cornstarch and like yellow five and yellow six and like synthetic vanilla flavor, bro. I, this girl went from like, I don't, I don't know. Oh my God, that actually smells really good. It smells like strawberry milk. Sometimes I just feel like vegan protein powder, the serving size is so big. This is a base that I made last night. I'm just gonna throw it into the creaming machine. This is so bad for you. This is really the equivalent of just having like a protein smoothie or a protein shake. This is a pretty good example of people selling snake oil and why everyone is so unhealthy because this poor girl thinks this crap is healthy when it's actually the opposite, literally the opposite. You know, the, these shills are selling low quality, conventional crap, synthetic vitamins, chemicals, artificial flavors, and, and, and people think it's a health food. Nice little extra protein in the morning. Like, is she just a shill and this is not what she really eats? Lunch That's is my ready. guess. We have this curry udon. This is actually a curry recipe from my cookbook. And then I just added udon noodles. I thought I had firm tofu, but all I had was silken. So I was going to do like a grilled tofu and put it on top of this bowl. And then that would be my protein component. But alas, I have no tofu. So at least... I mean, you guys see me eat udon noodles every day, so... I had my little protein creamy. It's fine. The average at the end of the day is more important than each single meal. So it's going to balance out. We'll be okay. I mean, udon noodles are a pretty healthy star source, but a curry is typically very high in carotene flavonoids, those those very dark spices, usually not good for you. It's a lot <laughs> for the body to process, like turmeric so and stuff. Good. Japanese curry, if you've never had it, is a little bit sweeter, definitely more mild than probably the curries that you're used to, and not super spicy either. I do have a gluten-free udon noodle recipe on my blog. It's tedious to make, but it is delicious. Okay, I'm gonna eat my lunch while I finish up some editing on my laptop, and then I'll see you guys in a little bit to prep dinner. Welcome to the office. I've been working a lot more at my desk, which I'm really proud of myself for. Finishing up. All right, so so the day was pretty bad. You know, that smoothie was basically chemicals, probably some calories though. And then the udon noodles is actually a reasonable meal. Compared to everything else she's been eating, at least it's somewhat calorically dense and there's some starch in there. Still overall very low fat, very low calories. Portions are very small. I have emails and then I have to book a flight for New York because we have so many cookbook event dates coming up, which is really exciting. If you haven't already pre-ordered the cookbook, I'll also leave that in the description box below because, oh my gosh, so much is happening. Um, and I'm having a quick snack. It is potato chips. I have never been into chips my entire life. Honestly, I think the thing about finally learning to eat intuitively is that when I eat chips, I just have a handful and I'm like pretty satisfied. I just love it for the crunch factor. Back when I really used to restrict when I was in like, you know, middle school or high school, yeah, it's definitely the crunch and not not the calorically dense fat and oil and grease and starch that your body's craving after eating like 300 calories the whole day. I probably couldn't eat chips without like eating the whole bag because I was so hungry from restricting myself all the time, you know? So, listen, are potato chips healthy by any means? No, not really, but I'm going to... I mean, if the... we sell the Wagyu fat potato chips on Frankie's Range Foods. It's healthy if the fat is high quality, which no no one sells healthy potato chips basically besides me. No one else is making them with the saturated fat. I'm gonna do a few more emails and then we're gonna head downstairs to the kitchen again and just throw together a salad. Collect everything in a bowl for now. Next up is kale. And I really like this variety of kale, dinosaur kale. I like to thinly slice it like this I into I little ribbon kale, pieces. Bro. I despise kale. And then once the kale is cut, I like to give it a... I don't know. Maybe probably, I mean, definitely te over 10 years ago, uh, I was into this type of health food stuff for a short period of time, like smoothies, and I was eating kale and stuff like that. I just remember how horrible it was. I used to make... Uh, I was making kale in the oven with olive oil and salt and making like kale chips, which was somewhat tolerable. But... Uh, Squish. It's like disgusting. a little pre-massage. Just a rough chop. Brussels sprouts, just raw, shredded. Yeah, I'm my using uh, navy beans, which are my white. thyroid hurts from <laughs> all that green. Cooked quinoa. We're gonna add this amazing caramelized shallot dressing. 
Okay, half of that's good, half of that's bad. The quinoa and beans and shallot dressing, just that sounds like something I would actually eat. If you took the, I mean, then if you if you took the vegetables out of this, it'd be reasonable. Or if you just had like Brussels sprouts, one vegetable would be okay. I did not plan well because all I have is chopsticks right now. All of my utensils are in the dishwasher, but that's okay. For dessert, I have these Oreos covered in that. Again, like this, this would be a really good meal if it was just like a big bowl of quinoa and beans. You know, and even Brussels sprouts. I think that's okay. And then, of course, you know, put some fish or put some steak on the side. But, you know, it's whole high-quality foods. Grain and beans is is a pretty big part of my current liver detox diet. You just have to have some protein in there and reduce the, the, the vegetables. Oreos covered in matcha chocolate. Two of my favorite things in the whole world together. Look at how good that looks. It is so good. To make these, I just dunked Oreos, gluten-free Oreos, in Nekohama's uh, matcha chocolate, covered it, put it in the fridge, topped it off with a little bit more Oreo dust, and it is, mm. we're gonna wrap up the video here because I'm basically. So those might not be that terrible. It depends on what the cream is made of. If it's just like, if it's just conventional, non-organic ingredients, as long as the, the seed oil content isn't too high, it might be okay. But you know, when you have chocolate, which especially not high quality stuff can be high in metals, the caffeine, um, high sugar content it can really stimulate candida issues. But uh, I mean, compared to the other stuff she's eating, at least it has some calories. In Nekohama's uh, matcha chocolate, covered it, put it in the fridge, topped it off with a little bit more Oreo dust, and it is. Mm. We're gonna wrap up the video here because I'm basically gonna get ready and go to bed after I clean up a little bit more. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and if you like what I eat in a day videos and you wanna see more of them or you wanna see more high protein meal ideas, let me know in the comments below. I just haven't had quite as much inspiration for YouTube videos because I never know what you guys wanna see. I know the matcha video. Yo, should I go get some more tattoos before the Yakuza come and beat me up for making fun of these Japanese vegan girls? are of high demand but when it comes to everything else i feel like i'm very lost and i need to get back to i like i like i like get my whole body tattooed and i'll die of liver failure the next week from all the tattoo ink my roots so i mean it when i say let me know in the comments below anyway i'll leave links to everything in the description box below things i mentioned recipes and so on if you haven't already pre-ordered the cookbook do that i'll leave a link to get either a signed copy or a regular copy and stay tuned on instagram because we what's the rule bro if you have like if you wear more than like one ring on your hands then like you're bisexual is that is that the guideline we'll be announcing so many events and opportunities for us to hang out in real life and oh, i can't wait i'm so excited See you in another video soon. Imagine I go to imagine I go to this event and make make a make some cookies for her too. Veggie can cookies. What's her name? I feel kind of bad. You know, it's obvious the, the eating disorder stuff still plays a role for a lot of these girls. But uh Hey, hopefully uh hopefully her health doesn't deteriorate too much before she figures things out. New videos every Tuesday and sometimes Saturday. Oh man, imagine how easy my life would be if I only have to do one YouTube video a week. Here I am losing my mind. I don't know, dude. She's been vegan for a long time. She's been vegan for a long time. Six years. Yeah, she's been, uh, she's been vegan for quite a long time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for joining me. You can go to frank-stefano.com to check out all of my interesting businesses. Do we have to... Do you have to update this photo that looks nothing like me anymore? I think I lost like 40 pounds of muscle. My face looks completely different and I got some tattoos now, but we'll see. We'll think about that. Uh, but as always, guys, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And I'll see you guys for the next video.